What's up, Philly Field Gang? How y'all doing? Everybody, how are y'all doing? Eat with Philly Field Gang. EWTPG. What's up, EWPPG? How are y'all doing? All right. It's Thursday night, and your girl just wanted some Korean noodles and some fried, some of my fried spicy chicken wings, my uptown chicken wings. We're going to be having these, um, Champagetti, I think I'm saying it right, Korean noodles. See, it's this Korean family, they eat, oh man, can they eat, and they eat these noodles all the time, so I've learned to like them. So we're going to have the noodles and fried chicken wings. I already have the wings clean and seasoned. Here's the seasoning. Someone was asking me what seasonings do I use for the wings and my fried ribs and just whatever I'm cooking pretty much. So I'll go with it in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and get some of the wings down in the hot grease, hot clean grease. Like I say, I've already seasoned them. Just gonna drop these wings real quick. So how was your Thursday? You guys get out today. They're trying to say that we might be going back to normal soon. Who knows? Some say yes, yeah, some say no. All right. Look at that. I only have to do two batches. The next batch will cover it all. Okay. So the seasonings I use, onion powder and garlic powder some oregano, basil, paprika, soul food seasoning salt, about a good tablespoon almost of the onion and garlic powder, half a teaspoon of these others, okay? This is the adobo, parsley, lots of parsley, probably two tablespoons. A little bit of this Saison Tropical, Saison, Sasson, whatever you want to call it. And some Tonys. Then we have black pepper here. And then I bought some at the Korean store. Uh, the other day I had got some of this red, uh, what do they call it? Red pepper powder. I put some of that on my chicken tonight. That's optional, guys. You know, if you don't like spicy stuff, don't use that, okay? Then, of course, I used a little packet of uh, Saison as well as the tropical. And then I put a pack of that Saison in my um, flour, and I add a little bit more onion and garlic powder and parsley and a little bit of the tonis to the flour. Season up the flour and a little black pepper. So that's how I do that. Oh, these wings are already smelling good. So we're gonna let these wings cook up. We're gonna cook up our chapagetti. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, some good old noodles and some fresh fried chicken wings, all right? Mm, mm, mm. They are smelling good. I can't wait. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring you guys back once these are coming out and it's time to put the next batch in, okay? All right, that's what our chicken is looking like. Look at that. All those seasons on that chicken. And the first batch is done. Okay? Look at that. Let me get my little pan here. Take them out. Let them rest on here. And I'll drop the rest of them. Not that many. Put them in the oven and let them keep warm. There's the first batch. Okay, we have a few more. Let's go ahead and get these in here. And then we'll be ready to cook our noodles. I like to shake some of the flour off. I don't want it full of flour. 
which I'm sure you guys do that too. I'm not telling y'all nothing y'all don't know. I know that. All right. I'm hungry too. I'm ready for these noodles and fried chicken, honey. Yes, indeed. All right, two water go in there. Okay. Gonna let these fry up here about 15 minutes. I'll put the noodles on in about 10 minutes, okay? All right, see you guys. Right, the noodles are boiling. I'll let them simmer. What's up, Philly Field Game? All right, guys. The noodles and the fried chicken wings are done. Let's bless the food, okay? Bless this food that we're about to receive for the nursing of our bodies. Amen. Okay, how are y'all doing? All right. We got our honey and hot sauce, of course. Got a lot. Sweet and sour sauce. You know I like to have that. And then here we have the noodles, and I put eggs on them the way I see them cooking them. <laughs> So we got noodles there in the middle there with the chicken wings around the side and two eggs cooked over hard. The inside is not running, okay? All right, let's see how these noodles came out, these chapetti noodles. Mm-hmm, got, I got my chopsticks, yes I do. I don't know how that's gonna work with these eggs, but we are gonna see, we are gonna see if I can do it. Okay, how's you got how you um how's your Thursday going? Well, how was your Thursday? I had a good day. Oh, I don't know, guys. I, I got a fork over here just in case. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was watching them. I say, you know, I want me some noodles. I messed around and started watching them eat. I can't eat the noodles the way they do, but mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me eat me a... Mm, I'm covering up my face. Let me get me a chicken wing. All right. Give me some hot sauce on it right here. You guys eat these type of noodles? Do you eat noodles? Just like Roman noodles, I guess. Just a different flavor. It's like a deep type of dark sauce. It's not like soy sauce. It's not real salty, but... It's a different flavor. They're good. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in my sweet and sour. You guys can't see it, can you? Let me see. Can you see it? Barely, huh? Okay. Mmm. My favorite piece of chicken. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. So you guys, did you enjoy the seafood last night? It was good. Some of you said you'd never heard of boudin. Mm. Some of you had had boudin before. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. That was just one piece of the wing, huh? Let's get to the rest of it. Here we go. Dip that in there. Do you eat sweet and sour with your wings? Y'all, it's good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mm, 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 mm. So, my sister came and got the rest of the seafood for her and my niece and my nephew. They'll be eating good tonight. My nephew loves seafood. A mm. couple of you said you were going to do cook you some seafood after watching me. Let me know that you do it and how it came out. 
Mm. So I topped the egg and the noodles with green onions. Y'all know what we did not do? A thumbnail. Okay. We forgot to do the thumbnail. Let's get us a thumbnail real quick, okay? I don't, you know what? Let me do this. And let me hold this up. Y'all let me start even before I got my thumbnail. Okay. All right. One of those will have to do. Okay. Let's get back to eating the chicken that we cooked in the kitchen. Oh. I'm gonna go with the fork for a while. So I think I was asking you guys, did you all eat noodles? And I said I topped them with some green onions. Mm -hmm. They have a good little flavor. They're not spicy either. I bought them at this Korean grocery store. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. This is good. <laughs> mm -mm. That's how you eat the chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Don't play with it. Mm. It's good. Okay. So guys, what's going on? Mm. How are you guys? Mm. I have been getting a lot of requests to cook liver and onions. How did y'all know that was my grandfather? One of his favorite meals, for real. So, I'm going to cook it. I'm going to cook it just the way he taught me. A couple of people suggested liver and onions. So, it's a couple of you guys out there that wants to see it. I know a lot of people don't eat liver. I love liver. Fried liver. You ever get those fried fried liver and gizzards from um, Walmart? You know, they fry, have those little fried livers and gizzards. They be good. And we got a place here, K Hall. They have some good livers and gizzards. But I'm going to go find some liver tomorrow. Hopefully, I can find some good liver. And we're going to have smothered liver and onions over rice with gravy. Mm hmm. I'm trying to see what you guys want me to cook with it. I don't have to go through there. Maybe have some green beans or something. I don't know. Well, let me know if you like liver. I know it. It'll probably be a few that don't. But like I say, it's in the comments. You guys been requesting it. So I'm going to do it. Going to show you how I smother my liver and onions, bell pepper and garlic. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Y'all, this chicken is good. Especially when you dip it in this sweet and sour. Good. I'll eat the rest of this for lunch. Well, not the rest. Some of it for lunch tomorrow. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yeah. They're not burnt. That seasoning gets up in there and it stays. But they're good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm. 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 A simple dinner tonight. Nothing fancy. Mm. 
So let me know what you guys had, okay? And let me know if you fried some chicken mm, and use my seasoning with the saison or the sasson. Let me know. How did it come out? Mm. Okay, I want me another wing. Guys, when I say they good, they good. Mm-hmm. Put some honey on it. Yes, indeed. And I can't, I don't remember who it is, but was it Jesse Freeman? Somebody, a couple of you. Think I should write a cookbook. What would you like to see in my cookbook? What type of recipes? You just never know. You're giving me some ideas. Let me know. Anything is possible. I've started this channel with zero subscribers. And look, I have you guys now. So if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is good. Woo. What I eat? Three wings. That's pretty good. Mm. Oh, I didn't eat all this one. <laughs> I don't know how that family eats. They be eating like 10 packs of noodles at one time. And don't gain no weight. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm, how they do it? How many wings can y'all eat in one sitting? For B Love's challenge, I I think four chicken legs. <laughs> I don't think I made it to five. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. That's good. Mm. That is real good. Let me get ready to reach out some comments hey, here. Let me read some comments. Let me see what y'all had to say about last night. EWPPG. A lot of y'all made comments on the uh, new intro and outro. Thank you. My daughter and Austin worked on that for me. They did good. Let's see. <laughs> I'm pulling up the video. All right, here we go. What did y'all have to say? Okay. Who do we have here? Miss N. Banks. Hey, lady. I've been busy as heck with college. I saw Walt and Cindy eating boudin, the African dish. I hope I spelled that right. It's B-O-U-D-I-N. Um, you can also have spicy fish with it, too. I see you doing your thing. Keep it going. I can't wait to get back at it myself. Love you. Okay. Thank you for the support. Uh, Diane Saunders, when this quarantine is over, I'm getting some sauce and a pound cake. She said she don't want nothing to quarantine. I don't, hey, I ain't mad at you. I appreciate it too. I'll be glad when it's over. Lovely key. Everything looks delicious. I've been wanting some crab legs for a while now. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some soon. I'll order some of your sauce soon. Okay. I'll, I Hopefully, I'll still be right here, honey. I ain't going nowhere. Karen Wright. Good morning, Philly Phil. I've been a fan of your channel ever since I watched you and Chillin' with Walt's collab. 
I'm also a Cowboys fan, and when I heard you say that like the Cowboys, uh, I went straight to your channel and subscribe. Oh, yeah, that's right, <laughs> when I was with Walt. Um, I absolutely love your videos and the positive energy you bring. The food always looks so delicious. Wishing you much continued success and blessings. Well, thank you. I hope you like the noodles and the chicken wings. It was just something a little quick that I threw together. But how about them cowboys? <laughs> Wanny Lee, I'm so delighted about your new intro outro. Austin is a magnificent musician. You hear that, Austin? I'm following him on Instagram. All right. Also, Ashley did a great job at putting everything together. I love seeing your adorable granddaughter. She's so cute. Your channel is a pleasure to watch. Keep smiling <laughs> and eating that delicious cooking of yours. Take care, my friend. Until next time. Thank you, Miss Wanny. Cynthia Duncan. Hello, Philly Phil. That seafood looks so good. I can't wait to get me some. Still watching from the Puff Puff Gang. That's right. Keep on watching. Gwendolyn. Oh no, Carla Counts. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Love that intro, outro. Great job, Austin. That's right, he did good, didn't he? Gwendolyn Boudion. I would love to order that cake and that sauce, but I need to know how I'm, how I'm not a technology person, but I want that cake and your sauce. How much will they be all together? and the shipping. You are an awesome woman and a great cook. Thank you. Just email me at eatwithphillyphil at yahoo.com. The sauce is 25. The cake is 40. The cake ships and you would have it in two days and the sauce as well. Okay? It's not bad, right? That's not bad, is it, guys? The sauce is ready to go. All you have to do is unthaw it. Well, let it simmer for about 30 minutes on low medium low and just let it simmer and cook down and honey get your favorite seafood chicken steak or whatever someone ordered it and you know what they ate it with chips and she said it was good mm -hmm. so it's truly an all-purpose butter sauce <laughs> all right pearl otis the food looks so good i have i have Oh, I have heard of boudin, but I've never eaten it before. It really looks delicious. It is. It's like a rice dressing turned into a, a, a link. You know, like the rice they sell at uh, Popeye's and Church's Chicken, but it's better than that. <laughs> Trust me. Penny, crude up a good. Good morning, Philly Phil. Your crab legs look delicious. Loving the... Oh, it's on here twice. I already read that. Tommy Beats Bites TV. Good morning. Love the cup and the food looks good. Okay. Rose for you. Hi, Philly Phil. Nothing like giving us members of those who have passed on. I know. Oh, Clyde. I have to try boudin. Your seafood boy looks so scrumptious. Take care. Try that boudin. Life, love, blessings. Good morning. Love the intro and outro. Thank you. Snow crab legs look so good in your sauce. Can't wait to order my sauce. Love you, sis. All right. Love you, too. You'll get to order it real soon, hopefully. Jesse Freeman. I had the ribeye steak. Oh, my goodness. So moist and delicious. Thanks for the tips. We'll be doing the fried ribs and spaghetti tomorrow. Okay. That should be today. I want to know how it came out. Where did you get the snow crabs from? They are big. My husband remembered your grandfather, brother, Andrew. He used to deliver his mail. You have a, you have an evening. Be blessed. Good evening. That's right. She lives in Beaumont, I think. I just, yeah. My grandfather, um, it actually wasn't his brother. It was my grandmother, um, my mom's side's brother, I believe. Uncle Andrew, he knew him? Wow. I would, we called him the boudin man. I didn't know he worked at the post office too. Well, I'll be. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I think, oh, you asked me another question. Where did you get the snow crab legs? I bought them at Kroger. And normally Kroger would have all their, you know, if you look at some of my other videos, they have all their seafood and meats out in the counter. And you just pick it out fresh. They pack it up for you. But with the virus, Corona, they have it all just already prepackaged. It's still the fresh meat, but they put it in a package so they were fresh out the box they just packaged them up already for me and you steam them for about 
under 10 minutes so they don't dry out. So when you break them, the meat will just fall on out in a whole piece. Sometimes I mess up. So, hey, if you mess up the first time, don't worry about it. She Radiance. Good morning, EWPP. G. <laughs> I'm loving your seafood boy. Keep cooking in the kitchen. Puff Puff Gang. That's right. She's from the Puff Puff Gang. Hanging out with the EWPPG Gang. Eats with Brie. Loving the intro so far. These crab legs look delicious, girl. They were. Now my sister and my niece and nephew have them. Annie Grace said, I love boudin and sausage made by Zumo. Don't they? Zumo makes some little links too, guys. Boy, when I tell you they're good, only I can only really find them at one one place, Floyd Seafood Market. That's what the uh, Zumo sausages. She said, I'm a Louisiana girl that transplanted to Houston 34 years ago. Wow, what part of Louisiana? Both states are big on seafood and boudin. Like you was really, in, looked like you was really enjoying it. Yes. <clears throat> Beaumont and Houston, they're like 88 miles apart. And then you got Lake Charles, uh, Port Arthur, all those little oh, cities up in there. Gumbo, Boudin, that's all they do. Galveston, come on, come on. Y'all got to know what I'm talking about. Good eating down there. And Beaumont, I mean, all these places where you can get fried shrimp and dip. I mean, you go into gas stations there and some of them, they have like crawfish just full types of seafood stuff like just cooked, ready to serve. I went in one in Port Arthur. They had neck bones and everything at the gas station. <laughs> Laura Brown. Hey, Philly Phil, it looks good, hon. What about lip? Okay, that's it. What about liver, rice, onion, and gravy and sweet peas? I don't eat sweet peas. And a good old mess of cornbread. I can do everything but the peas. I can have green beans and I can cook some, you said Mississippi cornbread? Hmm. $10 meal? It might be a $10 meal, but I'm, I'm going to cook it whether it's $10 or not. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> so, Laura Brown, I hope you be watching tomorrow, Liver and Onions. Bell pepper, garlic. I'm going to have all the different color bell peppers in it. It's going to be good. I'm going to let it smother down and get real tender. Gwendolyn, my niece will show me. I have a birthday coming in May, and I will get back with you. Love your personality. Deborah Tumor, I love spicy food. Sometimes I have to take it easy because I be overdoing it. I love seafood bars. Yours looks fabulous. I think I will do one soon. Keep cooking in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, do you one soon. And if you can't eat too much spicy, honey, don't don't overdo it, okay? I don't just do it all the time. Uh, Tania Pointer, everything looks great. I like your intro. And, okay, I think I read some of them on here twice for some reason. Uh, Miss T.I., yes, love the new intro. She got the little music sounds and the fire sign. <laughs> Seafood Boy looks delish. Can't wait to order butter sauce and waltz six flavor six layer pound cake stay safe and blessed keep cooking in the kitchen that's right walt six flavor pound cake get your order in denise say what's on your mind mckay i'm watching sister girl food looking good and see hers is on here twice that's weird nikki creations food looks delicious as always thank you nikki she makes shirts too i'm gonna have to order me a shirt from her Sandra Butts, Philly Phil, good afternoon. Crab legs are my favorite. What about king crab legs? Mm -mm -mm. Denise said, yes, fried ribs are good. Flavors of family love. Hey, Philly Phil, how are you? Never heard of Buddha, and I'm going to see if I can find it. I can try. Those crab legs look good. Mike Allen got my mind on that cake. You're going to have to send me a cake all the way to Tampa, Florida. I can send you a cake to Tampa, Florida, and it'll be there in two days. Email me, eatwithphillyphil at yahoo.com, and I will get your cake straight out to you, okay? Trust me. All right, guys. Thank you all for joining me. But is there anyone out there watching? Is this your first time stopping by my channel? It is. I need you to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Now drop a comment. Now hit that red subscribe button, okay? Turn on the post notifications. Now share this video. Share, share, share. All right? <laughs>
Okay. Guys, you never know where your girl's going to be, who I'll have in the kitchen with me once this coronavirus passes over. They're going to be coming back and we're going to have friends in the kitchen. All right? You just never know what city or what state I'll be in. I might be on location the next time. Like, now I was about to say visit a restaurant. No, we can't do that right now. But one thing you guys know you can always count on and let everybody know, you're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. All right? Good night. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. Mm-mm-mm. This was good. I cooked too much chicken. But I wanted it to look pretty for ya. I got a lot left, huh? Those noodles are supposed to be dark, too. All right, guys. See you later. Good night. <laughs>